folks, and welcome back to Preparing Countryside, where we're saving our $10 million case farm. So yeah, first of all, we're in November now, and last episode we got our fields seeded and rolled and all that, so we've got wheat and barley growing. We've got some harvesting to do, so we've got soybeans up here on 5 and 3, and then we've got corn on field 1. Corn will harvest normally in that. And yes, first of all, I want to check is can the corn be used? I'm pretty sure yes. For the cow feed mixture production. Actually, no, so fair enough. So yeah, the corn that we can sell. And yeah, I just want to look at the prices of corn. Figure out where it's the best place and time to sell, so. Okay, so we're looking at January and February, so a couple of months, so yeah, that ain't too bad. We'll put that in storage. And yeah, it looks like the train to Zelina is the best place. So yeah, first of all, I want to get some more money in because I want to start paying off this loan. And yeah, what I'm going to do is sell our Demco org wagon and our two behind fire spreader because we've got decent trailers as it is now. Okay, that ain't quite in the window. I just need to move that over. But yeah, it's just like, in terms with the window, Nat. Yeah. I know we get money that from the signage, Nat. But yeah, don't really need them code green car. And there's other ones, modded ones, that I may go for in the future, Nat. Because yeah, that's quite slow at, slow at dispatching. But yeah, so we've got the mower on. Still can mow grass in November. I was hoping for some more contracts popping up. However, some a look now. No grass contracts popped up. Also, I did a contract on field 38. That was for corn. Got about 10 and a half grand for that and 10 and a half grand in crop. Actually, no, I'm not sure how much got for the crop. We got 10 grand from the fertilizer that was in the spreader, so we'll do fertilizer in that. But anyways, we've got clover to harvest. Or mow next, I want to get clover hay now, use that as hay bells. Also, I'm going to get the worker off, get spraying done off the weeds, so go to our weeds. For some reason we did get weeds popping up on the wheat field, but got weeds, weeds Weeds, not weeds, weeds on the barley field. Not sure why, but I didn't hey, I'm not complaining. Also, there's weeds on these other fields, and there's no weeding contracts been popping up, so not sure about that. But anyway, so, so yeah, since we're only doing one field now, I thought, yeah, use something different now, rather than the chrome big M. Let's use our case now. So, gone and leased this. It obviously purchased it. So, the DD, the quicker we get it done, the better. But it's only a small clover field. Alfalfa field. So, that grows over the winter. Then, come April, be able to mow that. Get hay bales from that. Alfalfa hay. So, yeah, I am excited for that. So, yeah, head back to the farm and get that sorted. And then yes, we do need to get those soybeans now harvested. It's going to take a bit of time for that, unfortunately, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, and workers blocked. Oh, why are blocked? What? Oh, really? You're blocked by that, so fine, fine, fine. I'll turn around manually. There we go. Set you off again. Lovely jubbly. And now let's head to the clover fields. Everything up, Lisa's header, and yeah, accidentally purchased this the case gear loader. Had this installed before I got removed from the wall tub, so I thought heck it, let's use this. So yeah, this will be used for loading on our bells. Getting stuck. So yeah, I know what use part there for now. I'll leave you there. I will get this hooked up to the tether ready. 
But yeah, I could go with bigger tether than that. You can get to pull behind one. But yeah, it's still 3.1. That will do just fine. So, helps if you actually get hooked up. Obviously, you still need to get the mower over, but not the mower, the bather over. Sort of the bell and wind rower, but that can wait till afterwards. Yeah, at the moment, not in a rush. But yeah, so it gets unfolded. And then, yeah, it's a bit of a cheaper way compared to the Chrome. The Chrome is like 20 grand to these, whilst this is like 9, 10 grand, something like that. Can't remember exactly, but. So, yep, yeah, we are going to be mowing our clover, so. I've got the bell connected, it's just do in rows, even though that ain't going to make much difference since, yeah, we're going to be telling this, but, yeah, overall, looking around out there, possibly for the episode, but yeah, so, once it gets done, it gets tethered, and then afterwards, once it gets all belled and loaded, we'll then focus on the harvesting, and again, that ain't going to take too long, ideally, to some contracts before winter and that. We have done the, well, uh, between episodes, the core, no, core and contract, whatever it was. So I can't remember. I know it was one to two, but, yeah, so. But, yeah, if you don't get any contracts now, that will be anything over winter. So let's do the whole login business, I think. So we'll do that over the winter and that. But, yeah, besides from that. Yeah, I think we'll just give it a head winter until like February then. And then we'll start selling our silage, our three and a half million litres of silage, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll start paying off because I think what I do is since obviously with the limits of FS32, you're only allowed three million though. So what I do first of all is transfer seven million over to a second bank account. That's why now I'm on multiplayer. So I do want to start paying off the loan. Need to raise that up. Yeah, I'll start paying off the loan and that, because, yeah, we're getting 10 grand of interest per month, so over a year, that's 120 grand. Obviously, that's going to be the same for the first 7 mil, and then after that, too bad, the interest, to be honest, like, free, free, just 3 million euro phone, phone loan loan. 10 grand a month. Fucking hell, that is nice. But, anyways, this ain't gonna take us too long, hopefully. And then, yeah, I will see you folks after we're done with this. And then we'll start loading on the bells. done so yep yeah, all needs to do now is go and stack these onto the trailer and I'm just wondering can we do sack off two at once with this so go over here and have a little look yep yeah, we can do it and yeah not too bad able to lift this so yeah I think what we do with this is I think for now, I'll store in that in over winter, set it, there we go. Because yeah, I do need normal hay, so I'm tempted actually rather than do alfalfa, put in normal grass in here. 
Because yeah, we need normal hay for the mixer net. Because yes, we look at our productions at the moment, so we want to go to our cow food mixer. We've got plenty of silage bells. I think we've got any more straw bells than that about. Mineral fees, that's hit and miss. I think we've got some in storage somewhere, but overall not too fussed on that. But yes, yeah, so one of the things I want to do is just create a stockpile of feed and that. So at least then I can say, yeah, do need to rub out feed for a while now, so... Yeah, I think that's what we'll do, but... Now, let's just get it sewed up. And then we'll put it in storage, and then... Yeah, I think... We'll start doing the harvesting. So yeah, there we go. Got the bells sewed up, so 95,250 litres, so yeah. Not too bad, and yeah. Actually, we're going to be selling this. We'll use this for our sheep feed. Because, yeah, sheep and that with normal grass and hay, I think it's like 95% effectiveness. So if we go to our sheep, yeah, grass and that, 95%, but clover and alfalfa, 100%. So, actually, will these take bells and that? I wonder, so, tag the sheep pen, so yeah, it's that one down there, still so, trying to familiarize ourselves with all the animal pens we've got here, because yes, obviously some of them have been added in by me, like this one here, so, you know, to have a little curious look. So there we go, let's unstrap it, and no, it is actually going in, so, Actually, we can put that here. So yeah, rather than unloading it, because also I just, yeah, just popped in my mind. We need to start shifting these pallets, because yeah, we've got enough space for one more pallet of each type. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight, sixteen, twenty-four pallets, plus another one, two, three. 15 so 39 pallets we need to move so let's go and shift that and I'm thinking let's use a low loader of Sora trailer nap what about under bell loaders I think yeah you know what we'll go this one here let's just go this one actually a bit smaller than that so oh uh, heck it why not release really it let's go with some colors not too bad. Two grand for paint. Christ. <laughs> uh, not massive red. There we go. So yeah, that's going to cost us 1400 So yeah, no idea if we going to do the harvesting, but yeah, we need to shift those pallets first of all. So just bear me a sec whilst I crash into a bit of metal, I think it was. <laughs> so there we go. Tree is over here and... I think yeah, actually I was fortunate to purchase in this skid steer map. And actually I do wonder, can we grab two of these at once? I think if I tilt that, then yeah, so I want to try something. So if I go like that, so yes, if you can grab four in one go and able to lift it, then I think that's what we'll do. Nope, nope, it's going bad. We've got three pallets, and there's one spawn behind us, so... Yeah, that did not go to plan, so six to two pads, either two vertical, or two horizontal, but... Even then, three pallets... Yeah, it's a bit heavy on the front end, so... Oh god, let's quickly put this on, I forget about that. And actually, maybe 39 pallets and that. Could have done the bigger tree than that, but oh well. Oh, that was a close hit, so. Trap you down. And then, yep, oh, it's now just a case of getting the rest loaded up and then sold. And there we go. Got our last pallet here, and I'm just going to load that on top of here, so. 
careful not to hit. But yeah, overall, not too bad. So yeah, that'll go there. And then yeah, I think that is a very good spot to be for now. And actually, I do want to check, um, how is our bread doing? Wow, we we got three, six, nine, ten, eleven pallets of bread. Are they much lower than its best sell price? Because I'm thinking sell some stuff now. So there we go, five thousand at the moment, and fifty-five hundred is the peak price. So I think you know what, ain't gonna be much in December, much of a bump. So I'm thinking bring the trade down here. Do have access to the forklift here, and then yeah, we'll go and get this loaded up. And also want to do the math on this because we got wheat and that and barley. We just planted those, so they're going to be ready to harvest in July and August. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine months. So, cause yeah. I want to do the math on, if we go to our productions tab, on how much flour do we need for the year. So, because, yeah, at the moment we're producing wheat flour, we've got 26,000 years left, so about 24,000 years we can produce. So, yeah, then we get this taken over, and I'll do the math on this. In Japan, I thought I'd rather use the fork there, so I thought I'd grab this. And yeah, done the math on the flour situation. And what we've got at the moment, we've got enough flour to keep this going for another two and a half months. So yeah, we're not going to be switching up anytime soon. Yeah, now what I just want to do is grab. There we go. Two pants at a time. And yeah, these are best selling on the train. Well, at least 40 vegetables in that, but I don't fancy unloading all this onto the train, so I've got a bit of a cheeky idea that we can do. I may potentially work out so we can sell the train, or we'll sell these via the train, without necessarily using the train itself. So, right, the plan is sell at the point where the train goes off the map. Because, yeah, like, for example, with, like, Silver and Forest, you could just literally drive off the map and, yeah, sell everything. So, if this doesn't work, there are other sell points now, which we can go to. So, yeah, we need to go onto the tracks here. The train just gone past. I see it's gone up north, so... I will see. Can this work? Should work. Oh, just don't tip, don't tip. Oh, no, 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 Fuck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was a save. Oh, it will be the first time I've tipped this today, I'll admit. But yeah, so let's go and... S oh, dang it. We can't sell... Oh, uh, you know what? I thought that was going to be the case, so you know what? Let's head to the supermarket, which is just by the farm. If I can get this unstuck. Oh, it's cool on that bloody post, ain't it? So, there we go. We're at the supermarket now. Yeah, nothing eventful happened, so... Yeah, so now we need to figure out where we sell. I'm guessing somewhere around the back. So, at the moment, we're on 437 and a half grand. So, I'm guessing here. Let's go and sell these. Not too bad, not too bad. Now sell the bread. And with that product being sold, that is 88,506 plus a bonus of five grand for our Redman score. So that is looking good. We're at half a mil now. And yeah, I think it was about 250 grand. I think we needed for the whole logging business. I will still keep some money on hand for that, but. Yeah, I think once we start purchasing sawmill in the next episode over the winter, that's when we'll start tending to that. But for now, we got harvesting to do, but also we 
also want to start planting our grass for hay net. So, so I've done that there for a minute. That's gonna be fine there. Ooh. Pretty sure it should be fine in the fields and that, but so let's back it up. Select grass. Last nice thing as well, we can do all seeds rape. Or no, sorry, all seed radish. If you want to like, cultivate soil, I get that fertilizer state bonus, but yes, my moment's not really needed, but yeah, I'm just absolutely chuffed at the moment. Half a mil. And yeah, we've still got about like what did I say about two mil now we've got in silage? So yeah, we're on the road to pay off this 10 million euro loan for the farm. Because yeah, that was the equipment here already, so overall it wasn't that bad, all things considering. It could have been a lot worse for us. At least the equipment was running, it was retained by someone at some point, but so yeah. Oh yeah, actually no, we should mulch this first of all. Yeah, let's do that first of all, I think. Motion's done, that's already. And I spent two grand for an R, one of our rollers to a grass roller. And yeah, also had to pay her out a little bit because I completely missed a patch of clover hay. Not much. Filled the bayer up from 30% to 40%. So yeah, nothing to shout home about. I did the day. It is what it is, and I appreciate every little bit of money we can get. Or every little bit of hay. Especially if we start getting contracts now, we want to get some hay in that because we don't need to feed our beef cattle TMR. So, yes, we have a look. Parents, we can either just feed them silage or hay, even. If that's the case, then I may just feed them silage. Cows and out. Or the beef cattle, the dairy cattle, I'm going to keep at TMR. But again, worst case scenario is we do have the option of silage. Yeah, they produce a bit less milk, a bit less manure and slurry, but overall, it's not too bad. And the good thing about our cows is we don't need to worry about cleaning up the muck and that because someone is paid here. They come here and, yeah. They empty out and put it into a manure heap, so I think at the moment we've got like something like 30,000 litres of manure and like 4,000 litres of slurry, so we can use the manure really, but I think the best course of actions would be just to sell the manure for a profit. So yeah, we can get a lot of money for manure. But anyway, so this shouldn't take too long. We get this seeded and then rolled. And then we focus on the harvesting for the rest of the day. So alright, a little bit has changed, so now it is 23. That's because, yeah, we seeded grass field over here. Also, I've done six, field four, and head over here, I've also done field two. Why? Because if we plant the grass now, looks at our crop window, go down to grass, so that'll be ready to mow in April. And by then, that's when we'll be doing our crops for the next year, because my plans for the next year is going to be do sugar beet, potatoes, Soybeans, add maybe corn and sunflower. The corn and sunflower is up in the air at the moment. Really, that's only for pig food and that. But I'm thinking, yeah, sugar beet potatoes, soybeans, and the one that's on my mind is doing cotton on field seven because one, two, that could be uh, sugar beet or whatever, potatoes. Three and four will be the latter. Then five and six would be soybeans, seven would be cotton. And then, yeah, as we start paying off the loan, that's when we start maybe thinking about expanding to other fields, because 
These are quite expensive. Half a mil, half a mil. Yeah, these are some very expensive fields. So, that's what I've done. It's just been the oh, last hour or so. Drilling everything. On top of that, everything's been fertilized, fertilized and rolled. So, that is perfect almost. But yeah, now on to the main task at hand. On 3 and 5. And then corn on field 1, but we need to swap headers for that, so... What I'll do first of all is get the soybeans done. And then from there, we'll go on to do the corn. Because, yeah, we've got a bunch of soybeans in that, but I'll try to do other crop types in that to get some money in. But maybe what I may do down the road, in our third year, is do grass now, get all the fields planted grass, and then go from there in terms with see how much cuts we can get. I should also open this up, see our yieldage. So at the moment we're getting good yieldage, I think. Yeah, we're in the green, so getting good quantity of soybeans. We will store this, and then from there we will get it in June and so then. But for the time being, we'll leave it as is. We yeah, just self checking again, no can't get to be straw. I wish that was an option now. I'm gonna get straw from certain crop types now, or so at least have a mod in that, but we do have a mod that's PC only, and I doubt Microsoft is only would allow such things as scripted mods. But yeah, definitely when it comes to the next game, FS25 and that. That would be a good thing to have, is the optional from certain crops and that, more crop types. Things like dermal wheat and that, that we use for make pasta and that. And yeah, things like peas, coffee, peanut, I say peanut butter, no, peanuts and that. Berries and that, have berry bushes and that. Little things like that. Little Okay, we're hitting the parts of the soil which will get us the yes, yieldage, but at the moment it's not too bad overall. Because, yeah, we can tell that by the soil type, so. Ah, yeah, that was a patch of silty clay. Now we're hitting the patch of sandy loam, and ideally we want loam. Sandy loam is second best, but ideally. Oh, I was getting all mixed up again. Yeah, loan is the more ideal one to have, so... Again, that's why part of my plan is of how I'm going to do the crops for next year now. Is have the more better yieldage grass now up here. The cotton can go on 7, and 7 ain't the best fields. Yeah, it's got a lot of loamy sand and sandy loam. Loamy sand is not ideal, but... Could be worse, could be silty clay up here now. Because, yeah, we need to think about do I do potatoes or sugar beet? Or should I just do all these four fields? So, one, two, three, and four. Do wrong one crop in there. Also, I forgot we've got field 14 over there. Oh, we put grass in there, couldn't we? Get that seed sorted. And, yeah, do wrong crops in there. Because, yeah, things like soybeans, root crops, and cotton is the best crop type to do. Corn is good in that if you do silage. But just from the crop itself, yeah, root crops, soybeans, and that, and cotton are the good ones to do. Especially with the cotton, what I'll do is from there is get the spinnery, and then from there, make fabric, make clothes, and we can make a whole bunch of money from clothes. So yeah, that's one head and done. On to the next one, and that's what I love about soybeans. Doesn't take forever to fill up since it's a high profit, low yield crop. But anyway, so let's get this finished off. It shouldn't take us too long. Hopefully, it's done before the sun has set it.
are done. It is nine o'clock the next day, and yeah, we're in December. Might as well down a little bit. That's because the rollers and that was going to take forever to do. So what I've gone and done is sold our two rollers and got the mega roller. So yeah, that can do again all three things. Just need to swap out the rollers and that for worms motion roller, field roller, or a grass roller. So I'm happy about that. Also, the grass is coming in nice actually already. So if anything, that's going to be ready in March potentially. So not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, so in terms with the harvest. <laughs> so there, uh, yeah, we've got 97,000 litres of soybeans. And if we park this over here a sec, go to our lorry. Corn is done, and that is 95,000 litres. And yeah, initially I thought let's just do it for the sake of pig food. However, now not too sure. So let's look at the corn prices. Thirteen hundred at the moment. Uh, you know what? Let's wait another month for now till January. Winter's on its way, and yeah, we need to get things set up. Because yeah, I'll do some logging that, correct that. So one, five, and three, they have been mulched. They have all been lined. Yeah, right really now there's not much left to do, so... Yeah, I think I said only about, was it a quarter of a mil? So I think I had to get the carpentry and sawmill. So the probably cost around the region of... Jump Jack break off. Yeah, around 30 grand, so to the the forestry equipment, but... Overall, it ain't gonna be too bad, so I'm just gonna pop you in here for now. Actually, I do like about this trailer, the underfloor, and I just simply drive over and unload. So, yeah, that's gonna see there for now. And we'll pop you away here. Yeah, the roller. That was a bit expensive at 140 grand. Also, at the same time, I sold our spreader now, our like line and fertilizer spreader, because yeah, it was a bit small now. And in terms of the feels, in terms of what we are using it for now, line and that, I do something a little bit bigger than that. So I look at some possible options, some maybe jack two options or that. But for now, I'll just leave it as is for now. I don't need it now until really not until next after next harvest and that. So on our repair dose. See, so yeah, I'll get you hooked on. And yeah, whilst we're over here, we'll go give this a wash. What you can look about this as well is like just simply drive up. And then we got our jet washer over here. And we can clean our vehicles. That's what we need to do now. Is clean our vehicles, put them away for the winter. Cause yeah, it's gonna be very brisk it is over the coming months. So yeah, that's where we'll leave it today. So yeah, next time we're gonna be doing logging. Get some furniture and that maybe going. And then, yeah, sort of paying off his own. Also, sell silage. Whether that be in the next episode or the one after, I'm not sure. But, anyways, that's where I leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please stir. But, where I choose to, hope you nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Ever Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.